Yeah. All right, Dylan Johnson, uh, second place, yeah. solid second place there. I I don't know how solid it was. I think that Brian Schwarm was not too far back, as usual. But yeah. All right, so it seemed like you guys had a pretty good group at the beginning with Jeremiah, Tongi, Schwarm, some 100K guys, with Drew Purcell. Yeah. Uh, where did that start to blow apart? Uh, there's like a really steep climb that people usually refer to as a hike bike, but for Jeremiah, it was not a hike bike. He rode the whole thing, and that's where he got away from us. Um, but the guy who was hammering it on the first the opening single track section was drew purcell the local just unreal pace for the start of a hundred miler um did you know he was 100k at the time yeah i did i did but i mean it's it wasn't even even a hard pace for 100k man it was super fast um and then shortly after uh, Bishop broke away on that hike bike, um, Christian and Jason Blodgett and I got into a group on the road. And then Jason Blodgett cut off to do the, sh the um, 100K and um, Christian got a flat. So for the last second half of the race, I was on my own. Um, just trying to real end bishop and then uh last 15 miles blew up pretty bad after trying all day <laughs> but yeah was that just drunk grinding it out on the rail trail like the, the amish cart path there with the bridge of dreams is that where it kind of came apart <laughs> uh yeah right after that the rail trail i actually felt pretty good um i didn't like the fact that i was by myself on that whole thing but because um, it's really nice to draft off people because it's so flat for so long. But yeah, right after that on those kind of rolling climbs is where it unraveled. Did you know you were pretty safe though, uh, as far as your gap to, uh, to third? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really know. People were just giving me gaps to Jeremiah. And... Where, how did that, was that, uh, I mean, it was, well, was there a range there? Was it accurate at all? Do you believe any of it? <laughs> I, I don't know what to believe. There was a guy with a timer who kept saying the time was going down. I don't know if he was messing with me. Like it would be it would be five, four, three, and then at one point he said two. And when he said two minutes, I'm like, well, man, I, like he's right there. And the, but it wasn't soon after that I that I completely unraveled. And I think Jeremiah had over over ten minutes on me at the end. I think I don't know what the official time was, but he crushed it. <laughs> What, what do you have to do to get that guy? How many times have you gone head-to-head -head with Jeremiah at this point, when, like, at the level you're at now? Yeah, um, you know, when I, when I kind of really started doing NUEs, um, like, really doing well in NUEs, Jeremiah wasn't quite in the picture, and now he, he's back in, so, I mean, we went head-to-head -head in my early days, but I wasn't as competitive back then, so... You were also you were like 16 years old, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it looks like it looks like he's all in for the NUEs this season. So it'll be it'll be good to race him for a couple more races and see how close I can get. <laughs> all right, well, great job today. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.